Good Friday evening, everybody. Hope y'all having a God blessed day. We made it another day, y'all. Another day's journey. It's Friday again, and it's uh, fresh catfish nugget Friday. So I'm frying catfish nuggets. I've already put them in the bowl here. Got my meal poured over them. Just a real simple product process. Just a bag of catfish nuggets. I pour the seasoning on them. And then I just dump some meal on top of them. I'm getting ready to shake them off and drop them in the pan. And I'm going to make some onion rings. And I'll let y'all see me do the onion rings start to finish. So, hope y'all having a God rest uh, Friday evening. And that you got something planned really, really good for dinner tonight. You know, um, it used to be always that... Uh, Friday was fish day. I haven't done fried fish in a while. I usually do my baked or pan fried salmon, but tonight we're going to do catfish, and catfish deserve to be fried, y'all, so we're going to have fried catfish, and this is just a less messy way to do it. Just uh, seasonal catfish nuggets up and put them in a container like this, and just flip them over and over until you get them nice and coated with that meal. Uh, I can show y'all the meal I'm using. Uh, I went to um, Food Line one day and they had this big old, oh here it is right here. Zataran seasoned fish fry. This is real good for frying fish. So that's what I got on these uh, nuggets is some good old Zataran. So just gonna coat them really, really, just be careful. Make sure you coat them really, really good. And I'm using some corn oil and olive oil, my usual. Uh, choice of oil. Uh, hope y'all have been having a pretty good day today. Like I said, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it because I'm so glad that God allowed us to live for another day uh, and we're still praying for those who are have fallen ill for whatever reason. We're still praying for those families that are grieving. Um, we're just going to continue to keep one another lifted in prayer. Okay, let's go ahead and put these in. So just Kareem and I again today. Y'all know this is Good Friday. I don't know uh, what kind of observances you all do on Good Friday, but what I'm usually doing on Good Friday is preparing what I'm going to have for dinner on Easter Sunday. And since we're, you know, we're all still social distancing, I'm probably going to cook Kareem and I some, um, I've started this recipe some smoked uh, roasted chicken. I'll get into that with y'all later. Let's get these catfish nuggets going here. Um, I don't know, what do y'all have? Are y'all doing anything in particular for, um, for dinner for um, Easter Sunday? Just a little bit of garlic chopped salt that I'm putting on here. I didn't put any salt on here. Just forgot I didn't put any salt, but I need a little bit of garlic. On there. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm thinking of doing, um, like I said, some um, smoked chicken, roasted smoked chicken, and probably green beans or something like that. Nothing really unusual. Okay, these nuggets are coming along pretty good. Uh, they're gonna have to fry on each side for about two or three minutes, and then we'll flip them over. And finish it down. It's going to take about a good 10 or 12 minutes to put these nuggets. So, well, I thought I was going to be able to get them all in one pan, but not so. So, what have y'all been doing? Look, so I have started some of little projects around here, and I'm proud of myself that I've I really got some things done that I've been procrastinating about. How about you? So, Anyway, these are going to have to fry it on each side, like I said, about three or four minutes. And then we'll flip them and get them going on the other side. Let me get me a dish towel here. Clean up my little mess. You know, it's just almost next to impossible thing like to cook with flour or meal without getting it. At least for me it is. Okay, let's wipe the stove off. I don't want that burnt smell. So, Again, hopefully you all will find some creative things to do. And I, I've been looking at a few things on TV and on Facebook. And they are coming up with some unique things to do. 
And, and I, I think in my hats off to all the celebrities who have the resources to do these, um, I think they're calling them couch concerts. I haven't seen one yet, but I'm sure they're quite good. I saw Alicia Keys at her piano, and I'm sure that's going to be something to see. So I don't know quite how um, that's going to work out, but if you get a chance, check it out. Um, I am also looking forward to all the different movies. So Y'all know I'm a, I'm a movie person. I'm a TV buff. So they've been having some good movies on um, TV. And honey, I'll just tell you one thing. When I get time, I sit down and look at TV or while I'm cooking, uh, I'll look at certain stuff. And I'm, I'm one of these people. I like these different series. So I've been looking at different series. I think I told y'all I, I looked at this um, movie called 12 Strong. And what did I look at? You know, half the time I forget the name of the movie. I sat down last night and was going to do a video, honey. I started looking at the movie. I went right on the switch. I don't know what that was about. But see, I, I very rarely will go down in that gym because if I go in the gym and set the one over the climbers, it's over. It's over right quick. So I usually will sit in the kitchen uh, because my chair here is, for me is comfortable. So I'll sit there at the table and drink my coffee or snack on something and watch whatever I usually watch. But last night I sat down. Oh, I know what I started watching. This uh, thing is a series called Ballers, and it has Dwayne Johnson in it. It's a pretty good series because it talks about, um, well, in this case, it's about football players, but, you know, the, the overall thought is uh, young uh, athletes who make all this money and don't really know what to do with it. You know, start buying outrageous things, and they don't have any money to show for uh, what they're doing. In the end, when they get ready to retire, it's a pretty good uh, little movie, so a uh, series of So I've been looking at that. It popped up on under uh, HBO, and I don't have HBO, but I think now that we're going through this uh, crisis, I guess the networks are allowing uh, these movies to come over from other networks free of charge because I don't have cable. I have a Roku. And I have a fire stick. And now I have, um, what do you call it? I've got an uh, antenna type thing set up because uh, I wasn't getting the local news and I need to know the local news. So I uh, purchased one of those antennas and now I get local news. So if you don't get your local news on your cable uh, or any other way, purchase, um, I went to Dollar General and it's a Magnavox uh, antenna type thing. It's just Connect to your TV, it'll get you all your local channels. Maybe you already get them. I don't know. I know I wasn't. But anyway, this is just a little FYI thing. Uh, let's check these nuggets. Pretty good. They're frying pretty good. But I think I'm going to bump that heat up just a little bit more. And the other thing that I want to be cooking to go along with the uh, <clears throat> nuggets. I decided I wanted to cook some onion rings. I don't know if y'all already know how to cook onion rings or not. They are so simple to cook. Okay, I've got here, this is one and one half of a pretty good size onion, and I just cut it into rings about like that. And this is gonna make a bunch of onion rings. And I've got some milk and eggs cooked over here to dip them in, dip them in the soup. The flour, and then I want to fry them right there in that same skillet as soon as that fish gets done. So, we're going to have uh, chicken nuggets and some onion rings, and I'll find some kind of something green for us to eat. And I'll probably end up having a uh, lettuce tomato salad or something like that. So, y'all hang on. We're going to keep on frying these until I get them all done, and then I'll come back when I get ready to drop in the onion rings. Okay, yeah, y'all see those nuggets? They are frying along nicely. I flip them over and they'll be done in another two or three minutes and I'll put in the next pan. So they're doing really, really well, y'all. So I will be back in a sec. Okay, y'all, I will rumble through the refrigerator and look what I found. I found a cabbage, a medium sized cabbage. I just chopped it up, put some onions in there, holy chachari, some black pepper, some garlic, and so we're gonna have a little steam 
uh, stir fried cabbage to go along with that fish and uh, onion rings. So we're going to have us a full meal, y'all. This thing turned into a full meal. And it's still not going to add a whole lot of time uh, to cook time. I think you can still have this on the table in a good hour. I'm going to put the lid on those cabbage and let them cook slowly because I'm still frying fish. Um, let's go ahead and get that fish. Let's see. Got some to take out, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and get those pieces out. I got about that many more to put in. I'm like, I was going to fry just half the bag, but I thought, go ahead and fry the whole bag. If there's some left, guess what? Fish and grits in the morning. Y'all know about fish and grits. I love fish and grits. So we can go ahead and get these out. Um, I keep adding to what I'm doing. But on a normal basis, you can have this meal prepped and on the table. I promise in one hour, y'all. One hour. I'm just adding stuff so it's prolonged the time frame. So, um, let's get the rest of these nuggets frying in here. Get that heat up a little bit. Well, you can tell when that heat gets uh, too low. You can hear that grease that gets real sluggish, as I call it. So, y'all got your grease on. Ready to fry that fish. And you know, uh, the restaurants are staying on, so those of you who Normally we go out, I guess you're still supporting, hope you're still supporting um, the different establishments. I'm just not a, a eat out person, so I'm doing what I always do in this kitchen cooking. Um, I may do something uh, one day next week just to support uh, the people who are uh, still trying to stay in business with their food service and with their restaurants. Because that's, after all, that's what we're supposed to be doing is supporting each other and trying to help each other out to stay in business. So I got the last of those nuggets in there. We're going to go ahead and let them continue to fry and I'll return. Okay, last of the nuggets getting ready to come out. So I got them in the oven to keep them warm. I think these are nice. They want them nice and crispy. Not too crispy though. We don't want to cook away all our little meat. Um, Cabbage is about done. Now I'm going to get ready to start dropping these uh, onion rings. We've got a nice little pan of um, You know what? This was a two pound bag. Doesn't look like two pounds to me. That's why I went ahead and cooked the whole thing. I was going to cook one pound, but I thought one pound didn't look right. So. But they're pretty good size of nuggets, so I guess it's why didn't quite look like. But anyway, those might need to take just a little bit longer, but for the most part, the nuggets are done. I'm going to get these. I got them draining out on a paper towel. You know, we talked the other day about draining that chicken out on that uh, brown paper bag. Same thing with the uh, close this stuff up here. Same thing with the fish. My mom used to drain that chicken and that fish on a brown paper bag. So still don't have a brown paper bag, but we're about done with these. So I'm gonna get set up now to do the onion rings. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're ready to get these onion rings going. And what I was telling you before, I have one large onion and then half of another large onion just cut into ringlets over here. And I had to um, change my oil out I'm using the same skillet, same oil that I fried that fish in. So this is the oil. So I cleaned it up. Sometimes when you get uh, fish or chicken, sometimes you just have to clean that oil up a little bit. I'm going to put this on a medium high heat. Okay, these are my onion rings. I dipped them into, this is an egg and milk solution on that side. The onions on that side and the um, flour and meal mixture is in here. So let's test. We don't want the skillet too, too hot, but we want it hot enough so when the onion rings hit the pan, they start crisping and frying. Because you know it's only going to take about uh, four or five minutes start to finish. So let's try that first one. It needs to heat up just a little bit more. And as I'm getting ready to 
Oh no, perfect. Um, might need to add a little bit more oil to it because I can cut those thick ones. What I want to happen here, I'm not trying to do like a deep fry on these. I rarely do deep fries on stuff like this because it cooks so quickly. And uh, I just, I like for mine to make sure mine's cooked all the way through. So I'm just going to uh, sneak a little bit more. Let me find me some olive oil here. Find me a little bit more olive oil to sneak into that can. And I'm going to bump it up so it'll go ahead and heat up. We just finished that bottle off right there. Yeah, and that's going to get that grease up halfway that onion ring pretty much. And so when I flip it, it's going to have the other half to fry. So uh, I've got it. Got these onion rings dipped in my milk and egg. Just one egg. One egg and a half a cup of milk will fry a lot of onion rings. Well, it's going to fry all of these, in other words. So you're gonna need to make a lot, a lot of milk and eggs. So you just put them in there and let them, you know, they're starting to cook and as they get brown, and as they, when they brown and you turn them, they're ready to come out when they brown on the other side, so. This is so simple to do, it's almost scary. So I love good onion rings, so when I buy them, uh, I'm thinking, Every once in a while now, a fast food place, I will buy onion rings because I love onion rings. Let me get my camouflage dish cloth over here. Get this little mess up right there. But anyway, um, I love onion rings. And so I don't have a problem with cooking them myself because they're so easy to cook. So as you can see, they're frying along pretty good. See how quick they brown. And as they brown, you know, just turn them over and they be ready to go on the other side. These ones are not ready. So while these are continuing to fry, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of those over there start battered and ready to uh, take them up and put them on my uh, pan with the fish. So y'all hold on. I'm going to go ahead and take care of these. And by the time I come back, these will probably be just about ready. So go ahead and start slicing your onions now. Just whip you up your egg and milk, get your flour and meal ready, dip them, heat that grease, and you're ready to fry. I'll be right back, y'all. Don't go nowhere. As you can see, those onion rings are frying up nicely. Got a couple of needs to come out of there. But when they start, once you start frying and get that first pan, turn that heat down to a medium low because you don't want them to brown too much before the onions actually cook inside. This over here, where you can see, I'm gonna, I gotta get these couple out. Beautiful, perfect onion rings. I'm telling you, stuff like this, if you like fast food, every once in a while, just make your own. I got a few more to fry. Let's go ahead and turn these. These are ready to turn, and remember. Only about a couple minutes on each side. Fry them on that medium low heat so those onions will cook all the way through. And the outside is nice and crispy and brown, just like that. And these will be ready in a few short minutes. We're about to, I got one more pan to put in and get cooked. So all these in that pan there. See, see all those are ready. On the right end of that pan, let's see. Why is my thing going in and out of fuzzy focus? There it is. The right side, oh goodness, I've got it on a swivel chair. You wouldn't you know it. The right side right there, of course, is uh, the onion rings, the other side of the chicken nuggets. So we're going to have us an onion ring chicken nugget feast and some steamed cabbage here shortly. So. When I come back, everything will be ready to serve up. So, y'all stay in the kitchen. Keep on cooking. Get your plates ready because we're going to sit down and eat in a few minutes. Hey, y'all. Let me just bring back some old memories about these onion rings. Can you remember when your mom used to fry onion rings? See, I remember all that stuff. It's always hung in the kitchen all the time. I'm going to show y'all something. And for those... Uh, Friday night fish fry onion ring YouTubers out there, you will remember this. 
And some of y'all that's still frying on your rings at home now, y'all know, y'all at home, homemade onion ring frying folk, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to show y'all right now in the skillet in just a second. Okay. Oh, don't let me fall down. Mm. Rug on the floor, but that's okay. It keeps a lot of other stuff in order. Okay. Remember these little thick pieces of onion ring like that? The little thick pieces like that? Those are the best ones. See them little ends, them little, them little thick ones like that? Now, when you go to buy your onion rings at any of these fast food places, you never get these little thick short end pieces. Those are the best pieces of all because the onion is thick in there and it's been frying a long time. That onion is nice and soft and smooth and almost creamy inside. And you bite into it under that crust, you got you some good eating. So as a child, I remember this as a child. Whenever mommy would do those onion rings and I always got to taste everything, y'all, because y'all know I'm nosy. I was right there in that kitchen. And mama or grandma would say, You want to taste? I yes, ma'am. They let me taste and see when they cook and they, you know, fry them big old pretty ones. I don't even want those. These are the ones I want right here. Them little thick ones like that, y'all. Look right there like that there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So y'all homemade onion ring frying folk. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we almost done. Yeah, y'all know because y'all know about them fried night fish fries. <clears throat> you take a, a big old onion. And you could probably cut up thirty dollars worth of onion rings. It wouldn't cost you a dollar. But this is the way we do it here. I love onion rings, and I love homemade ones even more. And even more than that, I love these little thick chunks. They gotta cook a little bit longer in order for that onion to get done in between there. But let me tell you something: when you get those little rascals ready, it's something to eat y'all yeah see like that right there but, but these are mine nobody touched those those are mine y'all those are from what let's see if you have never tasted one you, oh you know what it tastes like for the reminder of you know those blooming onions when you eat those blooming onions that's what these thick pieces right here supposed to taste like it reminds me of blooming onions but just rest assured. Now, so if you want to try these onion rings and, and you get those little thick, short pieces, don't think that's something for you to chop up and put in something else or to throw away. Batter them and fry them, and I guarantee you, you will be well pleased with them. Because I'm looking forward to my little thick, chunky pieces. So, hope this did bring back some memories. Sure does for me every time I cook a meal like this. Because this is Friday night. This is what my mom did. The only thing is, my mom used to fry up um, catfish, whiting, uh, catfish and whiting, and then we'd have a catfish with the egg roll. Sometimes they would have a white egg roll, sometimes the yellow egg roll. I like the white pasty one. But this so reminds me of what my mom used to do on Friday night. So these would be fried fish or chitlins at my mom's house on Friday night. So. I think everything is just about ready. Look at that camera person do that. Get that camera thing. Look at, look at, look at. I'm going to keep her, y'all. So, everything is done. Uh, I'm letting those two little pieces there because, like I said, those are mine. I want them to get nice and crispy. But those are the best pieces of an onion ring. So, if you ever wonder what happened to those little thick pieces at my house, I batter them and cook them right up. So, what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to get everything uh, pulled together and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this meal is ready to sit back, relax, enjoy, and eat. I thank y'all as usual for tuning in with me. Hope you got something on the stove ready to go. I told y'all, keep your place ready. It's time to eat, y'all. So, again, thank you. I love you. Thank you for praying with me, for me. And for standing in the gap with all those people who are still on the front line uh, working and doing what needs to be done on our behalf to keep us going as a nation and as a family. And whatever it is that your neighbors, your friends, or your loved ones are out there doing, just continue to pray for them. Keep them lifted up. Keep them um, encouraged. Just a kind word, a phone call, 
or hello or whatever it takes. And remember, we are going to continue to abide by what the authorities are saying about the social distancing. Just be careful. We know we want to be with our loved ones and our friends if we have to be around each other. Uh, you know, pretty much people that stay at home all the time. We know what we do all the time, but still and all, we want to abide by whatever's been uh, handed down for us to do. So we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy our cabbage and our onion rings and our catfish nuggets. So love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in one more time. I'm going to just ask y'all, as usual, to keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down, continue to re reconcile those differences, be kind to one another, fix somebody a meal, or do something good. We'll be getting back together again since this is, is uh, Resurrection Weekend, and of course it's still special, and I'm always going to be doing things that will commemorate that time frame because it's one of the best and the greatest times on earth that we could possibly celebrate. So until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Be safe now. Toodaloo.